Hello, everyone. Today is Sunday, February 20th, 2022. Coco Production. Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana want to remain privileged partners of the EU. This article is taken from Frat Mat, the Ivorian newspaper. Ivorian President Alsan Ouattara and his Ghanaian counterpart Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado reaffirmed on February 18, 2022, in Brussels, Belgium, their desire to see their countries remain privileged partners of the European Union in terms of cocoa production. In other words, to continue to sell their cocoa as, as a raw product, as opposed to a finished chocolate product. It was during the meeting that the two personalities had on the sidelines of the Sixth Ordinary Summit, African Union, European Union. According to the press release of which Fratmat received a copy, they wanted sustainable cocoa production to take into account the local specificities of their countries, as well as the improvements, uh, the improvement of the living conditions of producers. Very vague. I don't know if uh, the those um, requests, I would call them, not demands, requests have any uh, specifics or not, and I doubt that they do. Otherwise, the newspaper probably would have mentioned them. But about two years ago, uh, the Ghanaian president, Akufo Addo, went to, well, I think one a, a politician from, I think it was the EU, um, came to, I think, came to Ghana and, and uh, during a press conference, uh, Addo said to, uh, to everyone in the audience that Ghana was tired of just being a, a supplier of raw cocoa to the EU and that it was uh, going to start producing its own chocolate. Um, which is is admirable uh, for uh, it's an admirable goal of of any African um, uh, cocoa producer to to want to uh, create a finished product of of uh, with added value that is of chocolate and market it around the world. Good luck with that. <laughs> Uh, he also said that, that there was a need for a domestic market, which he was uh, uh, correct uh, in saying. But uh, while a lot of Ghanaians were celebrating that uh, as if they had been uh, emancipated from um, uh, just um, selling the raw uh, product of, of cocoa as opposed to making a lot more money selling chocolate. I warned many of them. Uh, it was on a, a um, social media platform that it, although admirable, um, it, it was uh, overambitious. And I, I said the reason why is because chocolate, or rather cocoa, can be produced and probably is produced in Brazil, uh, which has, uh, I would imagine, a much larger landmass than both the Ivory Coast and Ghana. And, and that these European um, uh, business people would... Uh, the EU would go to uh, Brazil to to get its cocoa if the uh, if if 
uh, Ghana and the Ivory Coast uh, changed or, or had demands and it demanded that that uh, EU the EU buy chocolate as opposed to the cheaper um, um, raw uh, commodity of cocoa. And this was at a time when the ultra conservative, um, very controversial uh, president of Brazil was was uh, clearing uh, uh, the rainforest. Uh, many large swaths of, of the the uh, rainforest, and. Yeah, you know, the whole international community was uh, condemning him for it, but he still did it. Nobody was able to stop him. And uh, I was thinking that maybe he's doing it so that he can uh, uh, business people and uh, planters, that is, in Brazil could start um, uh, planting cocoa and sell it maybe to the EU in place of, of uh, the African countries, the Ivory Coast and Ghana. Um, but, you know, so I, the, the point is, I, I, and a lot of people, you know, and I let them know that cocoa did not ori originate in Africa, which is what many people thought. It originated, I believe, in Mexico, but in Latin America, nonetheless. And so uh, the celebrations obviously were premature because now you see that Ghana and the Ivory Coast have gone back to the EU saying that they want things to remain the same.